maintaining all the discipline. Okay, good job. And at you, as you kind of go through the early game here, that's the best thing you can do. Avoid the first of blood as much as possible leading into the turtle. And then you have to kind of go through there, right? So at this point, now for the Philippines, you want to be able to get in the position as they do. And it might, it actually kind of just looks like that, right? Like Mongolia just wants to give that up as they focus down Unigo here. Okay, getting the first equipment onto the movement. Now he has the cooldown reduction magic shoes. Now on an off cam kill there, Saison has secured the objective. And also a kill. Look at that. S heavy spin from Cesara. Now Cannon might eye on two members there, dropping them. That's the region coming through. Cannon might be in trouble. That's the pull. And now taking the kill, Mongolia secures their first point. Okay, one for one. Turtle going to be secured for Philippines here. So off to a, a decent start, but still relatively nothing in terms of gold lead for the most part. Bebex has to flicker out. Okay, with an exchange of an ultimate. Half HP on to Rekotiano. Now, Ethan being present most in and off of the lanes is just aiding way that you that you were thinking about heading into this game. How and when will Bebex will pop off? So that's in in, in, the, in the back of the heads of, of uh, the players right now of Mongolia to get in with the discipline. How to maintain the items flowing through Bebex? Yeah, you you it's it's time, right? Like that's really what it is, and that's why you see a lot of pressure too on just parts of the map. Archangel, though. Okay, Archangel might be in trouble here, being forced. To Say use so. the beats now, Cesar has used the heavy spin. Get the that times could be out. the reason now. The times journey has been used. Now Saison is eyeing to take on Forbid. Saison and Cannon's here for the combo, and the damage will pull through. Archangel secures the kill. Little things like this is what matters, right? Uh, even though it's an early game. Oh, hold on. They, okay, they're not going to make a play up here, are they? You need to go getting no. a position, say some there as well. They yeah, can, they shouldn't though. be able to. I mean, they yeah, relatively they shouldn't be able to here. They're just covering Bebex because that, that was your question. You know, like how much time or at what point in the game do Mongolia shine? Well, for the most part, Aizen can be flashy. He's more of the setter later on for the most part too. Bebex, though, is the damage guy, right? And that's kind of what happens with a lot of Beatrixes here. But they need obviously time, at least... At least, I would say with Beatrix, like two items. Two items will at least put you, in a, yeah, put you in a position where you're actually doing some damage here. But now the fight for this next turtle breaks out. Forced a flicker out to Ethan. Now Cannon has a way of zoning out members. Three members now might be pinned down. Heavy spin might pin down Archangel now with the use of regen and even vengeance. Oh. Now that will be the safe passage back to the turtle now who will secure this objective. It's going to be Saison. Team Philippines gets the objective. Now one more member might be pinned down here. Cesora escapes the wrath. Now Cannon receives the shot from Bebex. Now still Philippines winning that back and forth. Now it's still not stopping. Aizen trying to get to the back lines. Low on mana. Now Cannon. Eyes on Ethan. Will the time's journey and reverse time be an effective way of regenning oh. out of Philippines now? Cannon trying to eye on still Forbid. Going. Appraiser's Wrath connecting. Saison would want to wow. secure the kill, but it was too far of a step in damage. <laughs> How many times was there like an engage and a disengage and then a re-engage back and forth? Uh, again, this is something kind of you expect, right? It's Florin basically versus uh, the Diggy and also the Faramis. Like you have Cult Altar, you have Time's Journey versus the Blooms pretty much. And that's kind of what happens here. Neither team really has that much damage just yet. It's too early on, right? But right now, Philippines building a little bit of lead because of the fact that they were able to secure themselves the two turtles and, of course, continuing putting pressure around the map. It's just 1k gold lead, nothing too major. So Mongolia... Still hanging in there. Again, when it comes to the keys to victory against something like the Philippines, this team is keeping it together in the early game, not letting things kind of slip out of your hands early on. So if they can find it, great. Now, speaking of finding, Ethan has been spotted down by Archangel and Saison. Yes, securing the kill. Ethan goes down. Archangel takes the nice score. Heavy spin. Now heavy spin, pinning down two. Will they be able to evade this once again for a bit? And Aizen, oh. oh, final slash on to the turret of Mongolia, safely evading that Devastating burst. Philippines still managing to go out of the wrath. But, but meanwhile, Bebex up top, Ricardiano using that blazing duet, evades with a BMI, still safe. That, so that, that that's what I mean, right? Like, you lack the firepower. You had a great final slash into the turret. I mean, there was even an attempt with the heavy spin, but still, even when that happened, like, you don't have 
much damage, you know, and that that's kind of what happens also when you put a Faramus in the mid lane position there. Yeah, you've got two Impure Rages you're running with, and you can kind of whittle people down, but you don't have uh, the burst, that follow-up just yet. So now the fight for the turtle here. Good positioning. Philippines has a good way of taking this. Who secures? It's Cesara! Wow. Stealing with smooth. a complete calculation of retribution. Well, that was smooth, right? A great final slash Butter. again. Oh, Cannon using the Bravest Fighter now. Reverse time. Still an annoying way to remove himself out of the possible threat. Oh, oh heavy spin. He's being brought down right in the Wrath of Force. What? To escape, still sustaining. How is he alive? Philippines still managed to secure a safe passage back with the recall. Cannon still safe. Florin stock going up. Oh, no. You need to go in trouble. Oh, no. Reverse time. Still One alive. more HP bar left. Still surviving. Still staying alive. Vengeance, all the Tiano. BMI out. Archangel buys more time to zone out members of Mongolia. Cesaro bounces and dodges out of that wall. Now continuing this fight for, for bid. Might be in trouble. A pace rap now being committed. Aizen going low on mana. Now being taunted out. Unigo oh. trying to aid on Ar Archangel. And just keeps on going. Vengeance to final slash. Not even the trade, just continuing pokes. Look at the sustain happening right now on these two teams right in the mid. This is uh, this is some of the longest team fights we've seen this early on, or just in general, right? I mean, the constant back and forth is insane at this point. And this might be the answer, like I said, against the uh, sustained lineup. Okay. Ethan, just quickly going to get taken out there. Okay. Being in those state of positions, that is the macro prowess that, going, that we're going back again as the oh, identity Bebex. of the Philippines. Bebex flickers out, being taunted at Pracer's Wrath. Damage will be enough to take him down. Saison secures the kill. Now heading in for the Porsche. There's still more turrets left to be taken down against Mongolia. But on the other side, you're just cutting through the lanes. I'm just going to say it again. Right? I've been saying this up to this point. Get a, get a look at the items there. But this is always that eight-minute mark leading into the first Lord where the Philippines finds a lockdown and turns things around. Archangel still alive. Wow. He's still alive. Forced out of vengeance. Used the beats. Archangel with a safe way of going back what to an base. Angel. And oh, yeah. Completely <laughs> safeguarded by an angel. Joy back to the base. And with just as that, Philippines secures the Lord. As I was saying, impressively, right, this is what the Philippines is known for. They will turn things around and in a matter of minutes have garnered themselves a 4K gold lead here going into the 10th minute of the game, right? Look at the lockdown. Archangel survives this like a madman. Pops the vengeance, bobs and weaves in, has the beats going, and just walks away. That was almost three ultimates committed. Okay, Cesaro now being hunted down by Cannon. Ethan might be here to reinforce. Meanwhile, down bottom, Rekatiano going busy, pushing down. Might be another turret to be taken down inside of Mongolia. Defenders being shorted down. Kind of check it back on the map. Where is Philippines heading right now? Going on with the push from top to bottom. Right now, they got to make work of this Lord. It should be taken care of rather quickly. But you can see, right, even Saison just patiently waiting here to cut them off if he can. Zeoxora has the job to clear the Lord as he does, but they're going to lose the Tier 2 here now next. Mongolia suffering for space now as that gold gap gets even further. Still, they go in. Oh, heavy spin now has been committed. He's trying to pin down one now, using it to go back to base for safety. Aizen oh. trying to use the final slash, but look at that. Appraisers Wrath connected, but the region coming in through from Philippines now could be a threat from Mongolia. Bebek takes, takes down one, that's Saison. Now, Philippines will back away with that kind of position. They have been trapped right into the vengeance and the threat of Aizen's final slash. Yeah, I think, uh, again, they don't have any ultimates available right now. Well, Aizen now has the final slash, but relatively good, right? They were at least able to get a kill in Saison as he went down into the base, but that was only the first Lord, right? So you really want to be, if you're Mongolia here, you really want to get to a point where you can actually hold your own against these team fights, right? And that's what you see them doing. Uh, even looking at the damage leaderboard, they're, they're there somewhat, and now it looks like they want to go in the mid lane. Oh, Aizen. There's BMI connecting onto you, plus the Blazing Duet. Will he survive? Cannon. Oh, a Slither oh. survives the cannon, secures the kill. Zora using the heavy spin to back away. Hurricane will be the one to aid him back to dodge in the face of that wall. Now on defensive, they Mongolia. Philippines on the lead. 5K running and counting through. 45 seconds for the Lord to show up.
cannon's so flashy, man. You know, that's what you kind of expect with uh, Lapu Lapu. It's been flash ever since. It, it's literally, it's either, it, it doesn't matter if it's Cannon or Aizen. They'll both do those things like that, you know, and it, it always looks great here. So still, again, trying to find space in their own jungle. Mongolia has to kind of work around this because in 20 seconds that Lord's going to be up here and they've got to decide, do we actually want to contest it? Do we want to leave it be? Look they the are getting whittled down. Wow. Oof. ZX Aura just taking shots from Wakdiano here. Look at that peel, almost three, three fourths Crazy. of the HP bar dropped down right onto Zizara. Now they're on to the way of like cleaning up, getting or gathering out resources available. Now this will be the question, will they contest this though? Will the defense be enough? Because two flickers are still uh, cooling down from Ethan and Aizen if they want to break out a play. And it's melting really quick here. Philippines taking oh, out the Lord. Sora using the heavy spin. Unless will he, he be it. able to steal this? Oh. Who's gonna steal this? Will, they, will it be the Philippines or will it be Mongolia? It's gonna be Saison securing the objective. Now Ethan might be trapped in the Bravest Fighter. Connects, stunning him out. Unable for him to even go through that wall. Now winning that objective, it's Philippines against Mongolia, pushing them back for a defense right in their base. That's tough because the idea there probably was more so for ZX Aura to just try to get it, right? Like, he, he probably didn't want too much commitment from the team. Let me just try to get in there and see if I can go ahead and retreat away. And unfortunately, that didn't happen, and Ethan was part of collateral damage, right? So now here you are, Lord going down the bottom side, and you're up to defend. Clear-wise, they still have good clear, right? They still have decent defense, yeah. but th at the expense of what? And how they deal with this Lord is up to them here as it crashes into the tower. They should make quick work of it, but they're going to lose their tower here. Saison jumps in, though. That's the push from the Lord. Now HP bars dropping down. They might eye to take on the last turrets from top to mid from Mongolia, but still they're waiting for their waves to push through oh. here. Look at the final slash being used against Saison here. Still sustaining that spam right out of Aiza. Look at that cannon just dropping down, trying to set up the pace for, the, for Team Philippines. Archangel as well might do with the beast here, but the turret's being now melted down. One hit. By the minions. Now Unigo has to enter Possible way of sustaining the damage of Beatrix right now. Bepnex right on point. Zara being stunned here, being pulled, might be pulled in by Team Philippines. Now back in the game, Saison still not Letting Aizen go. This is XP lane. that has been slashed through right into the base. Now regening right through through the... Oh! Bebex takes finally the kill down. And now Cannon trying to hold on for the defense of Team Philippines. Now going back, there's no... Not enough minions to push through here. Pushing them and peeling them back off. Mongolia. Okay. Still defending. Still defending. 14 minutes in, able to defend once again. And that's two lords now that they've dealt with. Now they've lost all their turrets. But they're still fighting them, you know, and that's something you're seeing. But uh, again, one thing you constantly Ethan. have to worry about is that Requitiano, right? This is what he's done in the previous games. When he when he hasn't, even if he hasn't won from the split push or whatever, he builds time up, it, or he builds his items up in time to the point where then it just transitions to now he's the problem, right? And and he can kind of whittle people down. And look at the items that he's got already. He's pretty much locked in. You know, he's got DHS, he's got the Corrosive Scythe, Golden Staff, he even has Malefic Roar and the Wind of Nature to help him out here. So he's full on ready to go. Stacked. And it's it's tough to deal with if you're Mongolia because the whole time you really haven't had to worry about him too much. But, you know, now he's a huge threat in two kind of angles. It's either he's blazing duet into your team and he has massive damage or he's pushing and putting pressure on a side lane, right? So now as Lord comes up in about five seconds here, they're going to go ahead and take the resources from Mongolia. There's already, like I said, a massive gold lead here for Philippines. So Mongolia might just be better off not even fighting, you know? Find what we can. That's what you see them doing in the top lane. Yeah, pushing through. Meanwhile, Philippines has the edge of taking Aww. this Lord Archangel using the beast out in the middle Bebex of four. Bebex going to be in trouble now. On to safety, here comes reinforcement of Mongolia. Now, Ethan falls down in the hands of Archangel, slowly but surely targeting the members of Mongolia, slowly being popped out. Oh, immortality has been used by Cesara. Ultimate will not connect to Philippines or Recadiano. Secures the kill. The waves are coming in top, middle, and bottom. Now, this will be a tight defense for Mongolia to have against Philippines. Okay, right now, still down all these turrets in their base, two members as well. It's up to these three. Can they hold it together against the full force of Philippines as they don't even wait for the Lord? Archangel, half HP, Bebek still 
trying to clear wow. the waves now onto the base. Philippines snarking through. Will the final slash be the answer of Mongolia to defend? No, it won't. Game number one goes to Philippines.